Students have been hard at work putting their skills to the tests with their latest project. Nikaya Carrero introduces us to the Mandan students putting their talents to use. All year long, about 25 Mandan high schoolers in the Building Trades course have been learning all types of techniques, receiving hands-on learning in carpentry and woodworking. Um, it, it's so critical. It's, it's real life relevancy. It's taking what they've learned in the, you know, what we consider the quote-unquote academic land and actually putting it into application. And each student has their own reason for wanting to join the class and learn the skills and work that go into a building trade. It's pretty cool for me anyways. I would just like to be able to do work on my house in the future. I don't think I want to be a carpenter, but just to be a handyman around my house. Uh, I'm thinking about going into construction. My dad has his own business and I'm going to help him out in the future. Now they've created something very unique. Students have been constructing a two bedroom, one bathroom hunting cabin out of a shipping container. We're doing a lot of work, teamwork together and it, everyone's helped out and did different roles and part of the job. It was interesting because everyone has different skill sets and levels of interest in it. So it was difficult having to work with different classes because you couldn't have that communication with everyone. So it was definitely an interesting experience. Each day, students work hand in hand building walls, cabinets, and installing electricity. To me, it'll be a big accomplishment to have all of us work together and have one final project come out of it. And to the classmates, I think they'll feel the same way and it'll be kind of nice to get it done so we can start working on more projects. The class is expected to be finished with their project by the end of the semester and deliver it to the owner. Reporting for KX News in Mandan, I'm Nakaya Carrero. That cabin will soon belong to a farmer who funded the entire project, costing the school and the students nothing.